go and do the Smithsonian. Well, YouTube, we're about to enter. So I hope you guys enjoy this series of videos. I'm most likely spending the whole afternoon here. It's just afternoon, uh, 12 p.m. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.
I, uh, yeah, I charged it before. Oh, okay. That's the problem. See, it wasn't charged. Yeah. Oh, you just made it charge. Oh, yeah. So they had five um, five engines at the bottom, and then those were the ones that boosted it up. And it went all the way up. Awesome. That's uh, the rival shots. Command module display console. was just being developed at the time 11 was launched so the rover only went up on Apollo 15 16 and 17 the early the uh, Apollo 11 12 13 and 14 they didn't have it so 15 was uh, the first one to go up that's why Irwin is also remembered because he's one of the first astronauts that drove around in a lunar rover on the moon There's, uh, so this wasn't used uh, Apollo. This wasn't used in Apollo 11. No, no, no. It was only uh, only spacewalks that they did. Well, not spacewalks. Sorry, walking on the moon and also observing the moon's uh, moon's um, uh, ground content and stuff like that and regular astronaut exercises. They didn't have the uh, the lunar rover until Apollo 15. That's when they took it up. So they were collecting tons of samples on the early Apollo missions. And then the Apollo missions before that were just orbits around the moon, pretty much. There's Alan Shepard. Steps on the flight path. I know that. to the early days of flight.
Let's go to the two gentlemen who started it all. These guys are aviation pioneers. That's the drawing. I don't believe it. I might like just have one person working on the phone with it. That's a replica, because Voyager, there's two of them and they're both still in space, somewhere tens of hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from uh, the Kuiper Belt. Uh, I don't know what that is. Somebody's going to talk about that later on. So exploring Pluto, and there is the rest of the world. There's Voyager. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. What the heck am I looking at here? Look that one. Oh, it's Rosetta? It's a Rosetta. Oh, wow. This is, is it the F5? F 104 Starfighter. That's a perfect Oh my God. November 818, November Alpha. Go flight. Capcom, we're gonna go for launch. Alright, enough Apollo 13 talk. My goodness. This is massive. Is this an AS oh US Air Mail? No it isn't. Definitely isn't. But we'll find out shortly. Surely not as large as the triple seven, but find sooner later. Hey hey hey, Eastern Airlines. Look at that. What a catch it. Send that to my friend Scott. Cornell and all those other flyers down here. USA Mail Service. I got some stunters. Some 47 100. Yep. Let's do it. That's amazing. <laughs> that one hundred was spectacular. For Wade. 
It's northwest. Fokker DB2. What is this one? The Fokker DB2. But ah. I call it the DB2, but it really isn't. I just, it's it's something that I learned as a kid. It's actually, uh, what is it? DB2, that's a, uh, that's a uh, seven. Yeah. I just like to call it the DB2 because that's how I learned it as a kid, but it's actually the D, um, what's that, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the D7, Fokker D7. But as a kid, I always called it a DV2, so I, it's just a childhood memory of mine. Um, yeah. That's, that's amazing, eh? Yeah. Clear! Wait, I gotta get my hand up. Clear! And then they, like, ignited that. Now showing in the newly renovated Albert Einstein Planetarium, Dark Universe. Oh. Planets, stars, and everything you can see are less than 5% of the universe. What is the other 95%? Find out in Dark Universe, narrated by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Super Rain Spitfire. With the Rolls Royce Merlin Mark 64 engine. I'll never forget this one. I know they call it that. There's a B-17s flying through there. Yep, uh, P-51 Mustang, will it run? Uh, is that a BF-109? I'm very contemplating here. One of those other variants. Oh man, that probably is a zero. That is crazy, man. You go up one, just go up the stairs, don't be lazy. Oh, Ross, you already went up. Guys, guys. What's the view like from up there? Pretty good. Pretty good? Oh, wow. Sanchi, Sanchi, you can come up here. Oh, I have to watch my footing. I'm frigging. These stairs are small. Wow. Oh, man, it is. It is. <sighs> the aircraft derived from hell, wherever they call it. <sighs> it is the Mitsubishi Zero. <laughs> oh man. Yo, this is the Zero. I'm bullied. Mistakes realized. That is the Hawker Hurricane. So happens when you decide to get really tired on a Monday night. <laughs> P51 Mustang, and that is the Messerschmitt BF109. Derived straight from the Luftwaffe. Ah. But the RAF from England shot them down. <laughs> yeah. That's the Messerschmitts. Sadly, I haven't been able to see one of those fly. Please? Yeah. I don't think they do anything. They are. They're, they're airworthy. There's about... I've yeah. seen Spitfire. There's airworthy you, you Spitfire. Can, you can tell this is a Nazi plane. It's got the swastika on the back. Obviously. Oh, well, I can tell that without it because it's got the, 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 cro the cross the markings. Yeah. That was also swastika. And then all the ammunition that they used here. Fantastic. The armament. Sixty cows. Yeah, man. <laughs> they had those cows and they're freaking done them. Welcome to the aircraft carrier. 
morning just landed. You're not a big fowler. Have 14 Tom Cap, 18 Hornets. Call them all. Absolutely fantastic. So the USS Enterprise CVN 65 with a ton of F-14 Tomcats, E-6 B Prowlers, A-6 uh, Intruders. Uh, is that what I think it? No, it's not. A, I thought it was a Hawkeye. It's not a Hawkeye. There's no Hawkeyes on there. There they are. There's no Hawkeyes. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. So they've also got A7 Corsair 2s, the Sea King, the Sea Knight, uh, this A4 Skyhawk, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but that's just a fantastic model. Which took a thousand hours a year for the 12 years to construct. I just can't believe it. Mm. 6 5. 6 5. can barely get through here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy moly. And Stefan and Gabby, they're all here. Rolls Royce. The man. All the Georgian students finally reunite. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are. That's okay. I I already got like a bunch of people. Hi, Ernest. What's up? Are we presenting? Yes, Can we I are. You guys already are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're under pressure at this point. Yes. Stefan, your face? No. Going out? Nothing. 
We're having lots of fun. Absolutely. I figured I'd already... I thought that I'd already...